This statement that you issued last night, it was strongly worded after the stewards dismissed Red Bull's petition for a right of review last night. Please, can you explain why you issued that statement? I think we wanted to bring a little bit of um, respect um, back to the discussion. We understand that emotions can run high and it is always a matter of perspective and perception, but we felt that uh, it, the deadline was um, overstepped. Uh, you know, the statement by Mercedes is uh, a little ag antagonistic, shall we say, but uh, I don't really read too much into it. It's never been anything personal about a single driver. It's about the events that happened and a competition um, you know, between, between two guys. It's not individual to, to any driver. If that had been any other driver, the reaction would have been identical. So I was a little surprised at Mercedes' comments, but uh, you know, we've put that behind us. I think everybody needs to decide whether they want to apologize or not. I felt that, um, we felt that the comments that were made during and after the race and then in uh, written uh, statements and in the meeting itself were um, below the belt. The remarks that were made during and after the Silverstone Grand Prix were just um, um, elaborated uh, further in the document and uh, not always looking at the incident only but giving it a wider taste and that was beyond other, other things, um, just a step too far. Well I think you know within the submission we talked about the process uh, of uh, you know approaching the stewards um, during the course of an event, and I think the FIA have obviously subsequently clarified you know the process for that now, which we're you know we're we're fine with and and pleased for that for that clarification. So uh, you know that was one of the main pertinent reasons. I think these things were said uh, uh, and written um, uh, where very emotional and uh, heated and uh, probably uh, it's, not, it's not me for me to comment. Everybody does the things in the way they want and can. This competition is all about marginal gains and leaving low stone unturned and of course when you have an accident of that velocity and uh, impact um, then of course you're going to make a full investigation. It is a very controversial um, incident um, that polarizes even among the experts. It's uh, the expert comments from outside. It's, uh, it wasn't clear. And from us within the team, obviously we've seen all the data and the telemetry. We have our own perspective and uh, others will, may have another perspective. So it's not upon me to judge uh, what everybody's uh, where everybody's coming from. I think Formula One needs um, needs content um, and controversy as long as it is, uh, it, it is around the sport it can be quite entertaining but there is a certain um, boundaries certain boundaries that we that we need to respect and uh, the sport should unite and not create more polarization and especially in a in a in a sport that is not that cannot be proud at that stage yet about uh, its diversity and equality um, we need we are threading a, um, we need to just get the words right and uh, therefore let's let's aim to de-escalate rather than to fuel absolutely it's our duty as a as a team competing for this world championship to absolutely no, leave no stone unturned and uh, we felt that it warranted a, a review, a fair review. Um, it wasn't the uh, response that we were hoping for but we accept it and uh, now we close the chapter and move on. I don't want to um, um, ignite even more the, the fuel, no, the fire and the controversy, I think work, what we need to do as sports team is to de-escalate and not create more polarization in the social media.